Hello everybody, today it's Ethan Butler here, and today I want to show you how I made the screen replacement effect. Now, I'm going to hide these layers, and I'm going to kind of delete them. And uh, now I just have this original image of my new MacBook. So, what I want to do is I'm going to get this video, you know, my 20 miles for 4 days video, and it pops up. Unfortunately, this one popped up small, but yours will usually pop up like this big. But anyway, um, so it will pop up like this. So you just go to your effects, and you go into your warp, and you just look for your quad warp. You put it on there, and now you can see these corners are highlighted. And, oh, wait a second. Um, let me delete that effect for a second. And um, you can go, and you can just, like, I'm going to scale this up a bit. And just make it a bit bigger. So it's easier. Um, anyway, put the quad warp effect on there. And I'll just drag the corner on to each corner of the screen. You can kind of see what's going on. There's a little piece of paper here, but I'm going to go over it because I'll explain later on how to get rid of that piece of paper. Because this was a new math book and I was just like, here, I'm just going to put this on here. Anyway, um, now... The last corner finishes it off and um now click out of it this looks pretty good but remember there's this here coming out and plus there's all these little reflections on here and I want the reflections to shine through so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna do control C or command C on the Mac and just control V and you just want to drag that to the top um, you just want to go to your layer properties, and it will originally come out like this because you know it's on top. So if you put that to the bottom there, but now it's on top. So I'm gonna go to my blend mode, and um, I'm gonna change it. You know, you can do it to add, but that doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna change this to lighten. Remember, blend mode, lighten. And now you can see. It's underneath the little piece of paper, and you can see these reflections are shining through. Because if I actually go and I start dragging this, you can see these are all the little reflections that came out here. I can kind of see this is what they mean by lighten. This is, this is all the lighter parts. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, now you just you know put that on top, and yeah, scale to fit, and this is pretty good actually. You can watch it through, and and the best thing to do, and you, you see this right here where the screen goes black. You see that? You can see the reflection shining through. See? That's actually really cool. And it's really helpful. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do to help this, you don't need to do this, but obviously I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna put a little curve. I'm gonna make a grade layer, right? And I'm going to get my favorite curves effect because it's one of the best color correction things out there. Hit film. Um, and you just go, and I'm just going to drag this up to make it lighter and drag this down to make it a bit darker to kind of make it look like it's in the same world. Now, if you just take that gray layer off, it's all right, but this helps it even more to make it look like it's in the same world. very realistic I mean it may not seem like a big deal but this is actually really good this turned it out pretty nice so the original layer put this on top put the quad warp effect to put it on there and you see there's all these things you put this on here set the blend mode to lighten it will get rid of all the lighter parts put a gray layer over it and it makes it look like it's the same world that's really all you need to do the so gray layers not that important but it's kind of important to me um but yeah so thanks for watching this video please be sure you subscribe to movie clapper productions um and i'll see you in my next hit film tutorial or until then see you guys bye